everybody. Let's give this problem a try. So there's some wheelbarrow and let me draw the free body diagram. Not so nicely. But okay, so here, here's the free body diagram. There is a force here, the weight, and then it's touching the ground here and here. And then you apply a force. But then in part A, if you apply an upward force here, so that the support at A is off the ground. So it's no longer touching the ground at A, so this is gone. So there's only a force at B. Okay, so this is the free body diagram for part A. I'm gonna pick coordinates. Okay, and then now let's write out Newton's laws. Okay, in the x direction, we have absolutely nothing. So I'm just gonna, well, I'll just go like that. Okay, y direction. This, this, and this. Okay, now let's sum torque about any point you want. Um, and why don't I just show you different choices for that point, and then I'll point out which is more clever. So let's say we sum torque about over here. I'll just call that like point F. So the torque by this weight about this over here would be clockwise, right? Which is in the negative, this is Z. Z would be out of the page, which is counterclockwise. So the torque by this force would be this way, which is clockwise. So that's in the negative Z direction. And then here to here is 52 inches and W. Okay, and then the torque due to this force would go, well, about this point, would go this way, counterclockwise, which is in the positive Z direction. Then here to here, the lever arm is 66. Okay, so now if you solve what's known and what's unknown, so we know the weight, we don't know this, we don't know this. Okay, two equations, two unknowns. How do you solve? Right, I would solve this one first. Okay, so B would be, and W is 100. Okay, so I bring my calculator here. So 52 over, okay, so 78.8 and pounds. Okay, that wasn't the question. The question was, what is the force necessary? Okay, so to solve for the force, we'll substitute this number back into this equation. So F is W minus B. So 100 minus 78.8 is 21.2. Okay. So let me show you a different choice of that point for when you sum the torque. So instead of summing the torque about point F, what if we pick another point? Like let's say we sum the torque about B over here. So let's give that a try. So sum the torque about that point B the torque by this, about this point, would be counterclockwise in the positive direction. And here to here is 14. The torque by this force would be clockwise, which is negative. And here to here is 66. Okay, so then let's solve for F. 
equals 1400 over 66. Twenty one point two. Okay, which is the same answer we got last time. Okay, how about one more choice? Let's say we sum the torque about where the weight is acting right here. I'll just call that W. Okay, so the torque about this point due to this force would be counterclockwise, which is positive. And here to here is 14. The torque about this point due to this force would be clockwise, which is negative. And here to here is 52. Okay, so. Let's solve this. Oh, this is F. Okay, um, we're trying to solve for F, but here's the thing. I got two equations, two unknowns, but maybe slightly more complicated to solve than the previous examples, because now Let's say I solve this for B and then take that and put it here. Okay, now I can solve for F. So this would be F is So 1400 over 66. Twenty one point two. Okay, so no matter what choice for when you sum torque, you're going to get the same solution. But notice some choices were easier than others. And the strategy is to pick a point where you can get rid of unknowns. So where there's the most unknown. So if I pick a point here, that's not unknown. So it's like lost opportunity. When I sum the torque about here, there is no torque due to this force. So that's getting rid of one unknown. If I sum the torque about here, there's no torque due to this force. So that's one less unknown. Okay, let's do part B. This support at A, at B, but then if we apply a force this way and we lift B off the ground, then B becomes zero. So then this is our free body diagram. Let me take this picture. So now I'll pick coordinates. Let's sum forces in Y, sum torque about anywhere we want. How about here? Okay, so the torque due to F would be positive. The torque due to W would be negative. Okay, let's solve. These are my unknowns. Solve for F. W was 100, right? Okay, so that's 30. And again, you'll get the same answer if you sum torque about some other point, like over here or over here. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Keep on studying, and I'll see you in the next video.